Ladies and gentlemen, this is your favorite actor Jason Statham. We are now going to create a caricature effect by using this Jason Statham's image. Looks slick. Let's jump into Adobe Photoshop. I have opened this image in Photoshop. Now I'm going to remove the background from this image. First, I will double click on the background layer on the layer palette to unlock this background layer. And then take the pen tool and start to draw a path around the subject. You can press P in keyboard to get pen tool. And start to draw a path around the subject. It will take bit time to finish this. So I will speed up this video so you don't need to wait long. Okay, now we have this vector path around the subject. Now go to the path palette and click on the button called load path as a selection. It will convert this vector path to a selection like this. Then go back to the layer palette and click on add a mask button at the bottom of the layer palette. This will create a mask around the subject and remove the background as you can see here. And now I need to have a copy of this current layer. Select the current layer and press Ctrl J or Command J on Mac to create a duplicate layer. Now I'm going to rename these layers. I'll rename this bottom layer as body. And top layer rename as head. Now I need to separate the head part from the body. But don't worry, this will not hurt to the JSON anyway. Select the head layer from the layer palette and take the pen tool from tool box. Then draw the path like this. We now need to draw a path around the full face. We have already created a mask for the full image. So, I will finish the path like this. Then go back to the path palette and click on the load path as selection button. It will load up the selection same as previous. Then go back to the layer palette and click on the layer mask icon of the face layer. And then change colors to default by pressing D in keyboard. Make sure foreground color is set to black. Then we can fill the mask by pressing alt plus backspace key. This is option plus delete in Mac. Now you can see that the body part has now removed from the head layer. Press Ctrl D or Command D to remove the selection. And now we need to remove the head part from the body layer also. Go to the head layer and hold down the Ctrl key command on Mac and click on the layer mask icon to activate a selection around the head. And I will turn this head layer off for a bit. Then click on the layer mask icon of the body layer and make sure foreground color is set to black. And press Alt plus Backspace or Option plus Delete on Mac to fill out the masked area. Press Ctrl D or Command D to remove the selection. Now we have head and body in two separate layers. Now I'm going to create a layer group from these two layers. Select both these layers and press Ctrl G or Command G to create a layer group. I will rename this group as Originals. I will keep this group as it is, because the further changes I'm going to do are destructive edits, so if something went wrong, then I can always come back to these originals. Ok, now I will create a duplicate layer group for my edit by pressing Ctrl J or Command J on Mac, and I will rename this group as Caricature Effect. Ok, now I have expanded the Caricature Effect layer group we created. These are the layers I'm going to use for my edit. So what I'm going to do is I need to delete all these extra pixels hiding inside the masks. Because I'm going to use Liquify Filter for these layers, and Liquify Filter does not work with the mask layers correctly. To remove these extra pixels, click on the layer mask icon by holding down the Ctrl or Command key. 
This will activate a selection around the object. And now we need to invert the selection. Press Ctrl Shift I or Command Shift I to invert the selection. Then press Delete to remove these hidden pixels. Then we can delete this layer mask also by right clicking on the layer mask icon. And do the same for the head layer also. Now I will convert both these layers to Smart Objects by right clicking on the layer and click on Convert a Smart Object. OK, now I'm going to scale the body and head parts separately. This is an important thing when you're creating caricature effects. We need to make sure that the head is fairly larger than the body. OK, let's go. I'm going to shrink down the body part first. Select the body layer. Press Ctrl T or Command T to activate the free transform. I will scale down this layer like this. And press Enter key or Return key to apply the transform. And I will do the same for the head part also. I will scale up the head instead of shrink. OK I will make some fine tune like this. Now I'm going to apply Liquify Filter to the image. First select the body layer, and go to the filters. Liquify. It will open up this window, and then take the Forward Wrap tool. Change the body shape like this. Mainly lower part of the body need to be smaller than an upper area. Just like V shape. Then click OK. Now you can see that this liquify filter is added to the layer as a smart filter. Because we convert these layers to smart objects. This means we can go back and edit these filters when we need. I will double click on this smart filter to change this effect slightly. I will stretch the neck like this bit. Then I'm going to apply this liquify filter to the head part also. Select the layer and go to the filters. Liquify. And change the shape of the face also match with our caricature character. Keep in mind that we need to maintain the basic structure of the face to identify the person. OK, this looks good. Now I'm going to apply oil paint filter to this image. It will give a vectorized look to the image. Select the head layer and go to the filters again. Go to stylize, oil paint. Settings I used for this is like below. Stylization 6, cleanliness 4. Scale 1.5, bristle details is depend on the lighting option. Make sure that you turn off the lighting for this case. I need to add one more filter for this. Select the head layer and go to the filters. Sharpen. Unsharp mask. Setting I used is, amount 100. Bridge is 10, threshold 0. Now I need to add all these filters to the body layer also. We can easily do this by copying these smart filters to the body layer. To do this, go to the layer palette, hold down the Alt key, Option key on Mac, and drag and drop this oil paint filter to the smart filter of the body layer. And do the same for the unsharp mask filter also. Now we have same filters on both layers. We are now almost finished. I'm now going to add a gradient fill for the background. 
I'll collapse this caricature effect layer group. And then click on the original layer group. Go to the new adjustment layer icon at the bottom of the layer palette, and click on gradient. It will create a gradient fill adjustment layer underneath the caricature effect layer group. I will select this basic black and white gradient. And set style to radial. And reverse the colors. And set scale to 175. And finally I will add a light drop shadow this image to highlight the main character. Select the caricature effect layer group. Click on the add layer style button at the bottom of the layer palette. Click on drop shadow. I will add light black drop shadow like this. Set distance around 25. Size is set to 200. And increase the opacity to 80. Color need to be solid black. OK. I will reduce the opacity to 50. OK. Here we have a caricature image created by using Jason Statham's photo. Hope you have learned something new from this tutorial. Please share this video if you think this is useful, and thumbs up if you like this. Hope you may also know something similar techniques like this. Please put a comment so we can discuss further more to share our knowledge. Also be in touch with us in social media, and subscribe to my channel to watch more tutorials. Thank you for watching, see you in next video.